What's good? Mr. Lee, we're back at it again. I'm sorry it's been such a long time. I've been busy. I've been camping. I've been doing this, doing that. But no excuses. I'm back now. Ow. Anyway, I'm looking at some nasty today. Because today's the lead video is the dating advice from a non dater. I think the first tip should be obvious. You gotta find yourself whoever you're attracted to. Now, you're gonna have to look in the obvious places. And I'm gonna tell you where not to look and why. Don't hit up the club, because then you're gonna find the thoughts. Don't look up the library, because you're gonna find the smart people. I ain't saying smart people isn't attractive. Shoot. But you may find people that are a little too into study. If you wanna find your right person, think about it. If you wanna go to the club and get those thoughts, good for you. I'm just saying, it's not for me. Yet I'm still lonely. Eh, who cares? I don't. <laughs> Second tip. Lay on the charisma. Like me, I got my hat. Now you obviously don't have to look like Mr. Peabody to get a girl. But you might want to class up your act. And this go for ladies too. You can't just be displaying all your goods. You gotta... You know, it's like a present. The best gift is on the inside of the wrapping. It's not the wrapping itself. And after all this is happening, you've probably got your first date down if you're lucky. Now here's what you gotta do, and this is the most important thing. Choose where to eat ahead of time. Always do this in planning, preparation to what may go down. But don't overstress it. I serious. You know how many times you're overstressing, then when the date comes, you'll wish you had a time machine to help you get the date right. That sounds like a good idea for a video game. Nintendo, if you're watching this, make that a video game. Mr. Leroy sent you. Yep. And it's the first date, and right? Congratulations. But if you didn't, let me point out some major flaws that could have happened. She asked you if you wanted to pay, or you asked to split the bill. People today see that as a sign of weakness. I don't. You ate half as I did. I ate half. We pay in equally. And it doesn't even matter if it's a male or a woman. It can male or male, female or female. Shoot. And today we got 700 million genders. It can be anyone or anyone. It's equality. It's just a sign of courtesy. And sometimes you may not be interested. Or sometimes you may just need to keep trying. But don't try to the point where you're creepy. Ain't no girl gonna like you if you come up to the house like, Hey, hey, you didn't reply. <laughs> um, can I see you next Tuesday? <laughs> right upside the head. So don't do that. And if you're having a successful date, first date, and you're moving on to the second, congratulations. You gotta keep doing that and doing that until you got a hook, line, and sinker. But another thing I always want to stress is to be honest. Ain't nobody like a lion hoe. And this is for men and for women. And this is for other people too. If you're going in a relationship, delete all your social media accounts. Delete your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, your MySpace, your blog pages. Delete all of it. Because if they find something that got your name on it with another woman or a man or any other gender in the world, they will be on you like stank on a skunk. But anyway, that's Mr. Leroy's dating tips from an on dater. Like, comment, and subscribe to Secretary Riders. Stay ziggy. Peace out. Y'all ready? All right. Let's get ziggy with your host, Mr. Leroy.